Nin explains the rules of straight pool. The object of the game is to score a predetermined amount of points faster than your opponent. Straight pool, sometimes referred to as 14.1 pool, continuous pool, or rack pool, is a game that's usually played between two people and is a lesser known variety of pool due to the popularity of 8-ball and 9-ball pool. To score a point, you must use a cue to hit a white ball, known as a cue ball, into a numbered ball and for that ball to go into a designated pocket on the table. This is known as potting or sinking the ball. The table is roughly 9 feet by 4.5 feet and the object balls are numbered 1 to 15. There are markings on the table to denote the head string, the position of the rack balls, the head spot, center spot, and this spot, which is known as the apex. To start any match, a lag is used to determine who breaks first. Both players will hit a cue ball down the table to bounce off the end rail. The person who can get the cue ball closest to the front rail wins the first shot, which is known as the break. For a break to be legal, at least two balls have to hit the rails of the table, and the cue ball must not go into any pocket. Straight pool is a call shot game. This means that you have to announce which ball you intend to sink and in which pocket. If you sink the correct ball in the correct pocket, this scores one point, and you can continue to sink another ball. Sinking the wrong ball or the right ball in the wrong pocket is a foul and it's the end of your turn. If you don't intend to sink any ball, you must call a safety before you play your shot. The idea is to legally sink as many balls as you can, but if you fail to sink any ball or foul, it is the end of your turn and your opponent will be given the chance to do the same. When 14 balls have been sunk, they are brought back onto the table, re-racked and the play continues. This carries on until one player reaches the predetermined amount of points. The game is typically played up to 100 points, with 125 points being the standard for world competitions. The first player to reach that score wins. Go on, tell me what you can't do in straight pool. Well, you cannot touch any of the balls with anything except your cue. You cannot sink the cue ball accidentally or otherwise. You cannot hit any of the balls off the table. You cannot hit the cue ball twice in one stroke. You cannot sink a ball into the wrong pocket. And you cannot hit a ball you did not designate. These infractions result in a foul or a scratch and you will have points deducted from your overall score depending on the foul. That's basically the rules of straight pool in a nutshell, but there's a few things that you'll need to understand before playing or watching the game. For example, fouls. Earlier in the video I mentioned things you cannot do. These are known as standard fouls and if you commit any of these this results in a one point deduction from your score. Unless the cue ball leaves the table somehow the cue ball must be played where it lies following a foul. If you foul on the break this results in a two point deduction and if you commit three standard fouls in a row this results in you losing one point for each foul, plus an additional 15 point penalty. This is known as the three foul rule. Spotting. If a ball is sunk by way of a foul or is shot off the table, the ball needs to return to the table. But where do you put it? In general, the ball is placed at the apex spot. But if there's another ball there, it's placed anywhere along this line as close to the apex without touching another ball. Racking. When 14 balls have been potted, they need to come back onto the table. Sometimes it's not practical to do so because balls are already in this racking area. Understanding racking is the most confusing aspect of straight pool, but I'll try and explain as simply as I can. If no balls are in this area, the 14 balls are re-racked minus the top ball over the apex. If just the object ball is in this area, the object ball is moved to the head spot or the center spot if the cue ball is in the way. If just the cue ball is in this area, the cue ball is given to the player in hand to place anywhere behind the head string so long as the object ball is in front of this line. If it's behind, the ball is placed at the head spot 
or center spot if the object ball is in the way. If both the cue ball and object ball are in this area, all 15 object balls are re-racked and cue ball is given in hand. Back and combination shots. It is legal to hit either the cue ball or the object ball off the rails in order to complete the shot, so long as you announce it. This is known as a bank shot. It's also legal to hit a ball to bounce a completely different ball into a pocket, so long as you make it clear and announce that this is what you intend to do. This is known as a combination shot. Straight pool is gaining more popularity worldwide, but it can be quite a long game. Once you've played or watched a few games, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also and share this video on Reddit, but in the meantime, enjoy straight pool.